All right, look at this old footage, huh? This is actually only six weeks ago, which makes it a little bit more crazy. Um, you can definitely tell I'm a little heavier, right? Not many cuts going on there. And this is a quick video of the legs, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I progressed over the last six weeks and really what is possible without any drugs or, or any weight loss pills or, or any of that, really. So the training aspect, push, pull, legs, right? I think I talked about this previously, but push is chest, triceps, shoulders. Pull is back, biceps, forearms, legs is quads, calves, hamstrings. And so you'll notice that in my workout program, I do, I have like push one, push two, pull one, pull two, etc. And I do this because honestly, I get bored and I like to switch it up. I don't do this to confuse my muscles. I kind of think that's bullshit to an extent and a uh, publicity thing. But I, I mean, if you look at everybody that has a great physique, you can tell that they've, they have staple movements in their training, right? Like bench press or deadlift or what have you. And like I said, I do it because I like to challenge myself in different ways and I get bored. You know, one day I'll go in, do bench press three sets of three or or another day I'll do three sets of 25 so it differs greatly this is actually a Instagram video I made of my ab workout um, these I really want to do three exercises normally when I do abs at home crunches then I do leg raises and then reverse crunches and if you'll notice in my training program that I do do abs during training I think once or twice a week cardio right this is kind of my basic cardio i do cardio at 5 30 or 6 in the morning normally actually but it was on a fasted in a fasted state it, meaning that i don't have any food in my stomach but i recently was talking to um a buddy that's in a class he's a health and human physiology major and he's like man why do you do it on a fasted state don't you want to carb fire and i was like what carb fire he's like you need to you need to taking carbs to fire up the fat burning process and i was like oh really truth be told um scientific evidence supports that so with that being said i'm just telling you what i do and this seems to work best for me um, i like doing it in the morning i haven't really lost much strength and i receive great results i mean try it out maybe try fasted state compared to you know having a meal you know just do different things try see what works best for you tanning really random question random answer i do not tan in a tanning bed i use copper tone gradual tan it's cheap doesn't leave streaks if you're looking for a tan check it out nutrition i am not a dietitian just so everybody knows this is what i do right this is my foods list which actually is from dr lane norton he uh he actually got his phd from university of illinois shout out Shout out Dr. Lane Norton, but it's pretty easy to follow. Um, nothing too crazy. I like the popcorn. Vicks half salt from High V is what I prefer. Check it out. It's it's uh, it's pretty easy to follow. Macros. So you look at my macros and you're like, okay, week one these numbers were high. You know, obviously it's kept progressing down. Week three I kind of put a mulligan because I was sick and it's hard to be like, okay, you know. I dropped my protein to 136. Technically, I really did not do that willingly. I had to. Um, I just wasn't feeling good. I also didn't train two days. So um, I don't know if this this data is really viable. But you'll, you'll look at like week four and week five. And you'll be like, oh, he keeps going down. Then week six, like where did these numbers come from? Why did you go back up? Like why is your protein 20 grams higher? Why is your carbs 16 grams higher? Um, to be honest with you, I just was feeling like shit. So I decided to implement more food. I had two cheat meals, one being McDonald's. And the other being half a pizza from Papa Murphy's. And I still lost weight. I don't know. Instinct. Um, don't really have any scientific evidence to back why I did that. But it definitely made me feel better. And I dropped weight. This is a quick screenshot of some of the foods I eat. Like I said, pretty similar to the foods list. Um, almond milk. If you're looking for a dairy alternative, check it out. Supplementation. Uh I use Body Fortress whey protein. I wish I could afford the expensive optimal nutrition stuff, but unfortunately I can't. 
60 grams is not per serving. It's per two servings, but there's 25 servings in a jar, and I think it costs like 20, no, 17 bucks. Branch chain amino acids. Take these for um, recovery purposes and so that I do not lose that valuable muscle I've worked so hard for. Um, 50 servings for, I think I bought this for $30 from a local hy V. hy Vs aren't everywhere, but um, kind of comparable to a Kroger. So if you have one in your area, check it out. Yeah, I definitely think this is important to have specifically when dieting. You should get an amino acid, a good amount of amino acids just from the food you eat, but you never know. Pre-workout. Trying this Prime Nutrition um, pre-workout amplifier, really like it. You'd be amazed how small the scoop is, which I like that because that means there's probably no fillers. Also, I know all the ingredients on the back. If you see a nutrition product and you don't know all the ingredients on the back, probably shouldn't be taking it. Here's a little bit of footage. Um, this was probably I think taken two weeks ago or so. You can definitely tell my progress. I'm swollen as all hell. Um, here's a kind of another comparison picture. I actually posted this picture, I think, on Facebook or Instagram or something. You can definitely tell that my waist has gotten a lot thinner. Legs aren't shredding up as fast as they normally do, but they're still definitely making progress. I mean, I have lost 15 pounds, so you never know what else could come. But um, this is actually a quick plug. I've had a lot of people talk to me about wanting nutrition, training, protocol. Check me out, austin harris at uiowa.edu if you're interested in a workout program or nutrition advice. You can also follow me, Twitter, Instagram, bringing the beef.